It's time again for the Bringing Back Basic Gray collaboration, and this time, this month, I thought I would make a scrapbook page with y'all. Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome. It's time again for the Bringing Back Basic Gray collaboration. This is just a small collaboration that I do with my friend Sarah, who is crafting and relaxing here on YouTube and Kathy, who is Stampin' Cat over on Instagram. And we found we were all hoarding our basic gray papers from the early 2000s, since they don't make paper anymore. And we decided that we needed to bring it out once a month and just enjoy it. We're not trying to use it up, we're just enjoying it. So if you follow my channel, you know I am trying to get caught up on scrapbook pages. And so I thought for this, this collaboration, I would make a scrapbook page. And since this is a small collaboration, we have a little bit more liberty with the length of the video. So I thought I would do a process video with you guys. And I'm going to use, I have a scrap here and then the chalk from Montifica and then Pyrus. These are the basic gray patterns that I'm going to use. And then also I will be trying to incorporate some of these words um, in my layout somehow. This was, it's like a, there's some embossing on some of the words and I figured I can just cut some of them up and, oh, and this is a collaboration between K and Company and Basic Gray. Right? I just realized that. Anyway, um, I was just gonna use these as maybe like just some extra embellishments along with some other item. So that's what I'm going to be starting with and we will make our layout.
So I ended up doing two layouts. After I did this first one, I had some scraps left, so I went ahead and did the second one. If you follow my channel, you know that I have two daughters and I like to make individual pages for myself and both of my daughters, their albums, depending on the occasion. This is one of the occasions that I wanted to make for each of our albums. And so I got two out of the three layouts done. The challenge for me was to find some basic gray papers that kind of had a masculine feel. So this is a stretch like the flowers with the hearts, but the colors kind of worked like the greens and the browns and kind of that reddish orange. And then I brought in some red. This cut apart is actually Echo Park, but I've used it before with some of my basic gray papers just because it kind of has that vintage feel to it and the colors tend to coordinate. Um, so yeah, on this page, you don't really see much of the hearts with the flower or the flowers with the hearts, but I mean, at least it's going in. Like This one will probably go on one of my daughter's pages anyway, so it's not like it's going into a boy's album of a boy's event. But anyway, my nephew had come up to Indianapolis where we live near where we live and uh, ran in a bike race. And I did not specifically, this one I added this journal card, but I didn't worry about adding a specific title because the banner in this photo is what the event was. And so I reiterated that in the journaling. So I kind of just didn't worry about a specific title. I kind of let that act as a title. Um, so yeah, I did end up using some of those words that I showed at the beginning as some additional embellishments. This one, those are the only things I used as embellishments just because I didn't have a ton of room left. Um, I had some other journal cards I might have been able to use, but I didn't have room for them. So anyway, that is my share for you today using Basic Gray. Please check out the links in the description box below for Sarah and Kathy to see what papers they use, what kind of projects they did. But I thank you guys so very much for your time today and hope you all have a very crafty day.